Hello and welcome to our channel all about home electronics. In this video we're going to show you the easy basic cable hookups needed to connect a home theater to a TV. If you haven't already please subscribe to our channel. The subscribe button is at the bottom right of this video and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. We'll be right back after this quick message. Okay, so what you see on your screen right now is the back of a pretty typical flat screen HDTV and the back panel of a basic home theater system. Okay, the first cable connection uses an HDMI wire. And HDMI wires can be purchased online or at any local retailers. The HDMI wire is needed for displaying the video from your home theater on your TV. You just simply plug one end into the home theater where it's labeled HDMI out. Take the other end of the cable, plug it into an available HDMI input on your TV. Now one thing to note that when you turn on your TV, you have to make certain your TV is set to the correct HDMI input. You'll notice in this example there are two HDMI inputs. We plugged it into one of them. So the way to make sure it's on the correct input is with your television remote, the remote that came with the TV, locate either the source or input button like we're showing you here and just toggle that until you see the picture from your home theater show up. The next two basic cable connections will show you how to play TV sound through the home theater system speakers. The first connection is using a basic red white cable like this one right here. Simply match red to red and white to white on the input of your home theater and red to red and white to white on the output on the back of your TV. Now this type of wire connection, the red and white, is going to let you play TV sound through your home theater's system speakers, but it's only in stereo. It's not actual surround sound. In order to have actual surround sound, you'll, you'll need to make this final uh, cable connection. Now using this wire, it's called the Digital Optical Toslink Cable. These are available for purchase locally or online. When you get it, you'll sometimes have to pop a little plastic protective uh, cap off. But after you do that, simply plug it into the optical input on the back of your home theater. You'll hear it click when it's properly seated. And take the other end to the back of your TV, locate the optical output, and plug it in there. Okay, so one question you might be asking yourself is, do you need both the red, white, and the optical cable as well? Well, the answer is both yes and no. Um, if you only care to hear left, right stereo sound and you don't care about surround sound, then all you need is the red, white cable. If you care about surround sound, you gotta do the optical cable because the red, white doesn't reproduce surround sound. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Have a great day.